आज हम देखेंगे बेसिक एमसीक्यूज ऑन अंडर राइटिंग ऑफ शेयर्स एंड डेवेक्स फॉर बी कॉम बैफ बी एम एस बी पी आई बी एफ एम आई पी सी एंड सी एम ए तो स्टार्ट करेंगे बेसिक एम सी क्यूज ऑन अंडर राइटिंग ऑफ शेयर एंड डेवेक्स फर्स्ट द अंडर राइटिंग कमीशन in case of debentures as per the companies act shall not exceed dash 5% of issue price 10% of issue price 2.5% of the issue price 2% of the issue price the underwriting commission in case of debentures as per the companies act shall not exceed 2.5% of the issue price answer c second as per sebi guidelines the underwriting commission on equity shares dash 10% of the issue price 5% of the issue price 2.5% of the issue price 2% of the issue price as per sebi guidelines the underwriting commission on equity shares 2.5% of the issue price answer c third the underwriting commission in case of rupees 4 lakh preferences capital subscribed to by the public under ministry of finance guidelines should not exceed dash 2.5% 1% 2% 1.5% the underwriting commission in case of rupees 4 lakh preferential capital subscribed to by the public under ministry of finance guidelines should not exceed 1.5% answer t four when commission becomes payable to the underwriters the underwriters account is dash debited credited not open none of the above when commission become payable to the underwriters the underwriters account is credited answer b five the underwriting commission is calculated on dash net liability of the shares value form underwriting value of the shares mark application of the shares value issue price of the shares underwritten the underwriting commission is calculated on issue price of the shares underwritten answer d six unmarked applications refers to dash form underwriting applications issued by the company applications bearing the stamp of underwriter applications from the public received directly by the company without bearing any stamp of underwriter unmarked applications refers to applications from the public received directly by the company without bearing any stamp of underwriter answer d seven when all the shares are underwritten by the underwriters it is called dash form underwriting partial underwriting complete underwriting none of the above when all the shares are underwritten by the underwriters it is called complete underwriting answer c eight 
mark applications refers to cash applications bearing the seal of underwriting applications bearing the signature of applicants applications issued by the company none of the above mark applications refers to applications bearing the seal of underwriting answer a iske upar underwriter ka seal hota hai use hum mark application bolte hain to answer a 9 r limited issues a debenture of rupees 100 each and rupees 90 the underwriting commission will be paid on cash rupees 100 rupees 95 rupees 105 rupees 90 r limited issue a debenture of rupees 100 each at rupees 90 the underwriting commission will be paid on issue price that is rupees 90 answer d then m limited issue shares at a face value of rupees 100 with a premium of rupees 20 per share the underwriting commission will be calculated on dash rupees 100 rupees 90 rupees 80 rupees 120 m limited issue shares at a face value of rupees 100 with a premium of rupees 20 per share the underwriting commission will be calculated on issue price that is rupees 100 plus premium 20 rupees 120 answer d eleven a company issue 20000 equity shares which were underwritten by x the company received applications for 24000 shares hence X will get his commission on the issue price of dash shares twenty thousand, twenty two thousand, twenty four thousand, none of the above. A company issue twenty thousand equity shares which were underwritten by X. The company received applications for twenty four thousand shares. Hence, X will get his commission on the issue price of twenty thousand shares. Answer A, twenty thousand. Well, mark applications refers to dash applications bearing the stamp of the underwriters, applications carrying the signature of public who applied for shares, applications carrying the stamp of company which offered. the shares none of the above mark applications refers to applications bearing the stamp of the underwriters answer a is applications ke upar underwriter ka stamp hota hai use hum mark application bolte hain to answer a 30 when the entire issue is underwritten by only one person it is called dash sub underwriting sole underwriting form underwriting none of the above when the entire issue is underwritten by only one person it is called sole underwriting answer b ise hum single underwriting bhi bolte to answer b sole underwriting ya fir single underwriting 31 14 the underwriter is entitled to claim remuneration on dash the issue price of shares underwritten the face value of shares actually purchased the face value of shares not purchased by him none of the above the underwriter is entitled to claim remuneration on the issue price of shares underwritten answer a 15 if the whole of the issue of shares or debentures is underwritten it is known as dash partial underwriting 
sole underwriting, complete or full underwriting, none of the above. If the whole of the issue of shares or debentures is underwritten, it is known as complete or full underwriting. Answer C. Sixty. If a part of the issue of shares or debentures is underwritten, it is termed as dash partial underwriting, complete underwriting, firm underwriting, none of the above. If the part of the issue of shares or debentures is underwritten, it is termed as partial underwriting. Answer A. 70. When an underwriter agrees to buy a definite number of shares in addition to unsubscribed shares, it is termed as dash partial underwriting, firm underwriting, complete underwriting, none of the above. When an underwriter agrees to buy a definite number of shares in addition to unsubscribed shares, it is termed as form underwriting. Answer B. 18. An underwriter may reduce his burden of buying shares through entering an agreement with another person known as dash partial underwriter, form underwriter, sub underwriter none of the above an underwriter may reduce his burden of buying shares through entering an agreement with another person known as sub underwriter answer c 19 bank account is dash when the net amount due from the underwriters on the shares taken up by them is received, debited, credited, not open, none of the above. Bank account is debited when the net amount due from the underwriters on the shares taken up by them is received. Answer A. Debited. 20. A person cannot act as an underwriter unless he hold a certificate granted by DASH, RBI, SEBI, ROC, MCA. A person cannot act as an underwriter unless he hold a certificate granted by SEBI. Answer B. 